is bananas. B a n a n a n a n a s. Is bananas. B a n a n a n a n a s. Took someone's glasses off. I broke them. So you can't break glasses. What the fuck? I look amazing. You look <laughs> like a cartoon character. <laughs> I, do. I look like, like a proper geek you. from yeah. an American TV show. Only just now you realise that. Yeah. Only when I put a glasses on. When I take them off, I'm fucking hot. You are. Hot then I put them on, and I'm like, sexy geek, cool, geek chic, virgin, cool. Virgin, cool. Yeah. yeah, bro. It's the new look. Can have those back. Just writing down some questions for Mike. Because I'm a Tottenham fan. Number one, why are you such a? <laughs> There's a good explanation for that. <laughs> Can you say <laughs> on YouTube? I think so. Okay, just checking. You know when, like. You watch the news at six o'clock. Have you ever seen the reporter write the questions during the interview? Welcome, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. Oh, actually, that's a lie. That's it's a Tuesday lie. evening. <laughs> it's Tuesday evening. It is the day after the launch of the new Arsenal second strip, aka Bruised Banana Mark II. And Uncomfortably close to me, I have a fan of Tottenham Hotspuds named <laughs> named Michael, and we are going to get his view on this shirt and some other Tottenham Arsenal related stuff. Sorry okay. about my appearance, first and first of all, not just my face, but the fact <laughs> that I've turned up in my work clothes. I was so excited that I heard about this kit being released. Um, that I just ran. I actually ran um, a marathon to get to Chris's um, allotment here. Well, we're next to his shed, as you can see. It's an allotment, bro. I it's grow my allotment. own food. It does. I eat it. Okay. Questions, please. Okay. Freshly written in my pad just now. First question, Michael. Hit me. What is your first impression of the new Arsenal second strip, a.k.a. Bruised Banana Mike 2? You know what? I, even though it tells people to visit Wakanda, which I think is a bit <laughs> weird, I, I I'm a I'm a big fan of this kit. Um, as much as I hate to say it, honestly, when I was a kid growing up, this shirt caused me so much pain that now that they've brought it back to be their second kit, it's gonna cause me so much joy <laughs> watching them play really badly in this thing and just ruining its legacy. No, I'm joking. It's a really nice kit. It is a really nice kit. It was this an iconic kit. Um, you know, as much as that time when we were sponsored by Pony is probably an iconic <laughs> kit because we were absolute Al Capone at the time. They brought the kit back and it's really nice. Um, I like I like the home top too. I really like the home shirt. I think this is a lovely kit. Um, the the bruised banana design is really nice. And yeah, I, I, I used to like the Tottenham kits um, when they were designed by Adidas as well. I think Adidas pull out a really, really, really nice kit. So yeah. It's a, it's a nice kit for you guys going forward into next season and something that I think a lot of fans will actually want to buy it. Wow, there you heard it. He speaks on behalf of all Tottenham fans. All Tottenham fans. All Tottenham fans. I won't give away his address. Please don't. <laughs> Second question. Hit me. Would you mm. visit Rwanda after seeing this kit? Oh, it says Rwanda. I thought it said... Oh, at first, I thought it said Wakanda. Then I thought, that's stupid. They must be talking about Oaxaca, the, the restaurant. But, <laughs> um, yes. Yes, I would. Okay. Would you rather mm -hmm. visit Rwanda or Wakanda? Wakanda. Wakanda forever. Okay. Spud me on that. Blow it up. How do you need a visa? Or you just go there forever? I think you just go there forever. Fair enough. Yeah, just leave everything. Would you, as a Tottenham Hotspuds fan... Wear this shirt. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a nice if shirt. I, I took it. the badge off it. If I do that, mm. 
and I put a say imagine I put a uh, football and then I put a chicken on top. Yeah. Would you wear that shirt then? I'd wipe my bum on it. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it. Okay. Yeah. We'll take that as a maybe. Do you prefer this bruised banana mark two mm-hmm. or the original bruised banana? This one. Oh right. Interesting. All day, this one. Because like I said, the old one um, as a child growing <laughs> up it, it was just bad memories. I I'm, what would this have been? This would have been your kit in 93, 94 like as well. That. Yeah. So well, that was the time when I started really kind of understanding what football was and who players were and Arsenal were winning mm-hmm. and Tottenham had like Dean Austin and <laughs> and big up Dean Austin and, and other terrible I always players. rated you, Dean. I mean, Jason Dozell. And then later <laughs> on, we had Jose Dominguez, Goran Bunyan Chavis. These are all legends. <laughs> These are legends of Tottenham's game, and these are the type of guys that were going up against the original one of these kids. So I much prefer this kit because you're going to finish like eighth or something wearing this kit. Cool. Eight's my lucky number, so that's cool. It's mine as well. I grew up really? as a kid loving Just the number eight. Shut up. When yeah. I was eight, you know, I didn't want to become nine, mm. and I actually cried on my eighth, ninth birthday, and I, my mum agreed to say I was eight for at least a few more weeks. True story, bro. Cool story. Right, next question. Mm-hmm. I can't really read my own handwriting. That's wonderful. Oh, <laughs> if you were going to get this shirt, yeah. which name would you get on the back? Well, first we've already discussed I will not get this shirt. If you were going to buy it for somebody else. If I was going to buy the shirt for an Arsenal fan for their birthday off the website, because there's no way I'm going into the shop, <laughs> um, I would get, um, I'd probably get someone like Iwobi. <laughs> put on the back of it because again just well he he was in the Nigeria team that had that absolutely rude kit in the World Cup um, the green one that was just selling like hotcakes mm-hmm. I believe your brother mm-hmm. wanted it as well um, yeah so yeah stick him on the back because he's all about just that Larry rude lifestyle I thought you were going to say Mustafi oh no I wouldn't do that to an Arsenal fan okay I mean He's more of a Tottenham player than an Arsenal player, and stuff, isn't he? Right. Next question: Which Spurs player mm-hmm. would you sell mm-hmm. to Arsenal? Uh, and we're not taking Harry Winks. Harry Winks would walk in your chair. <laughs> um, the only pass is sideways. I would sell you right now. Just because I, I, I pity you, I'd probably sell you Cameron Carter Vickers. So you've just got <laughs> someone at the back do a I job. I don't even know who that is. I don't know who he is. But Isn't he a pop star? Yes, he probably sings as well. He's a big um, American uh, centre back that we have played for us. He's there good. you go. He's good. Breaking Cameron, Car- news. Cameron Who's Carter. Who's the new Vickers. signing for Arsenal? Can you let everyone know again? Cameron Carter Vickers. Oh, I thought you meant for okay. real. Um, yeah, I send you Carter Vickers. Yeah, cool. He'd do a job. It's a deal, mate. Yeah, thank you. 30 mil. Yeah, well, yeah, please. Which, right, next question. Which Arsenal player would you sign for Tottenham Hotspuds? I would have had Aaron Ramsey all day, but you lot just messed that one up, didn't you? Um, out of your current team, probably a Bamiang. Bamiang. Yeah. Cool, we'll swap him for Helena Bonnacar. Yeah, Helena Bonnacar <laughs> can go and play for <laughs> Arsenal and we'll have a Bamiang. Bamiang and Kane up front. Oh, that'd be powerful, wouldn't it? Bang. There you go. Transfer. People say Arsenal don't get any transfers done. Two done today. Two done. I, two years ago, I'd have, I'd have sold you Sissoko. But, I mean, you know, whenever FIFA comes out, it's an absolute travesty that Sissoko's not 99 rated on FIFA because he is clearly the best player in world football at the moment. I agree. My man Sissoko. What a man. Final question. Oh, the pressure. Do you on this prefer one. this? new Arsenal shirt mm-hmm. or the red new Arsenal shirt which came out two weeks ago uh, that one probably. that one being this, this one? one sorry this sorry, one. sorry sorry this yeah, one, that one. Uh, I've got next to me um, so you're basically saying you want to wear this shirt contrary n- not contrary because <laughs> it's not like no one doesn't believe it but um, surprisingly my favourite colour even though I'm a Tottenham fan is red it was my favourite colour as a child growing up before I even knew what football was so Usually, I don't mind Arsenal kits, um, but 
Yeah, this one, it's good. It's nice. My favourite colour. Big up the Maxim Tately, by the way. Sponsor. This is a sponsored sponsor video. Sponsored by Maxim Tately. Josh would love me for saying that. Also, my favourite colour is... What's your favourite colour? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so I quite like the third shirt. Oh, God. So bad. Why is your poo white? It's shit. It just looks like shit to me. Oh. So. <laughs> oh, I get it. Look what I have to work with. Amateurs. Amateurs. Um, and is there anything else you'd like to add before we go? Before you can say goodbye to the lovely people of YouTube? Um, just, you know, if you see a race that is 345, have a bet on the seven horse. There you have it. Thank you very much, everyone. If you like this video, <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's your fault, Michael. And if you want to see more from us and probably less of Michael, you can subscribe to the channel. Stay safe. Just say no to drugs. Stay in school and always wear two condoms. Bye, Dad. And, and if she doesn't have a condom, wear a Dutch cap. If you don't know what a Dutch cap, Google Dutch cap. Don't, don't Google Blue Waffle. <laughs> Arrivederci. Oh, shit. Man down. <laughs> My kind of lady. My kind of lady. I was going to try doing that, but I can't. This is for life. Throughout my childhood, being a Tottenham fan, coming up against Arsenal was some pretty, it was some heavy shit. Like going into school as a nine year old kid, just being absolutely terrorised with fingers like this. Usually this in your face. It's quite disheartening, but I've stuck with it. And for the past, like, three years, it's paid off. It's really, really paid off. Because now my team do good stuff and the other side do bad stuff. It's nice. Bullshit.